memories. Yet, in spite of all this, he was very committed to his academics. He excelled scholastically, went to UH, then he went on to earn a doctorate at the Illinois College of Optometry with, I might add, a full scholarship graduating as the valedictorian in his class. Now what's interesting is after receiving his doctoral degree, he joined the army and wanted to be a military doctor. Interestingly enough, he was mistakenly placed in boot camp where he stayed for three months, if you didn't know. When you graduate and you're a doctor already, you're an officer. You don't have to do that. <laughs> I know because my dad is a West Point graduate and explained those things to me and my brother when we were growing up. Governor Quinn at the time intervened for him and helped him to be placed into a different situation where he was reinstated as a captain quickly rose to the rank of major, then lieutenant colonel, and eventually a full colonel. You know, in a world that we live in today where personal integrity isn't usually the norm, when doing your best is often even sort of made fun of, isn't it refreshing to remember, remember somebody like Dr. Tanaka, who gave his best no matter what? You know, sometimes those who are as hardworking and conscientious as Dr. Tanaka was, can become imbalanced in their outlook on life and become kind of hard to live with. And I'm told that he had another side to him, that he was a compassionate and caring person. I think he was representative of a lot of men of his generation. Tough, but also tender. Because he was the oldest, he worked hard just so that his younger siblings could go to school, which was common in those days. He even turned down the offer, offer by the military of becoming a brigadier general, which not very many people do. But he did that, why? Because he wanted to spend more time with his family in his retirement. Besides all this, though, I think one thing that I'm told that marked his life was how much he loved his family devoted husband and father. Interestingly enough, his life motto was that it's always better to give than receive, which of course is what Jesus said in the New Testament. It's refreshing to remember, remember someone like him who somehow was able to balance those two qualities of being so hardworking and conscientious with being compassionate and caring at the same time. Now, none of us can change what's past. In the life of every person, there are the good and the bad things, the successes, the failures, the strengths and weaknesses, the joys and the sorrows. And Dr. Tanaka wasn't perfect, but then again, neither are any of us, are we? But that isn't why we're here today, is it? Or what we've chosen to give our attention to, rather, we can learn from his passing the importance of our own passing coming sooner or later one day. You see, the Bible teaches that we're all going to pass away one day, and after that, we're going to be evaluated, not just by other people, but by God himself. Do you know the Bible goes on to say that God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So where do we go from here? I think if he was here today, Dr. Tanaka would be pleased most if we were to seek to incorporate into our lives the kinds of qualities that he left for us to emulate. First, by being hardworking, by being conscientious, in whatever we do. Second, by being compassionate and caring. And finally, by being prepared for the future. By putting your faith in Jesus Christ, in whom is eternal life, so that one day we'll be with him. Thank you, God, for this man and his life. May we bring honor to him as we live our own lives. In the name of Jesus.
Pastor Jerry. At this time, the United States Army will render military honors, and this will consist of the unveiling of the flag, the firing of three volleys, sounding a tap, folding a flag, and then the presentation of the flag. Please be aware of the firing of three volleys. It will be very loud. Thank you, everyone. May have a seat. 